Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. So, because so many of you guys watched my Gucci belt video, hello, still in my life, still in love with you, I thought it was a good opportunity for me to do my first ever unboxing video. So if you watch my hauls, my M weeklies, you will probably know that I do quite a lot of unboxings in there, but I've never just done a full blown sit down. Let me show you what I spent my money on video. So that is what this is. I got a little bit spendy on the Gucci website as I always do because I actually very much like Gucci so I thought I would sit down and show you exactly what I bought as well as give you a full blown kind of first impressions, review and discussion of one of the most popular Gucci bags ever. I'm a little bit late to the mark but who cares as we're seeing with the Gucci belt years on people are still buying it because these are staples and I'm hoping that this bag is going to be a staple too. If you're not into designer bags, switch away now because this isn't for you. Let's go, let's unbox! Oh my god guys, so having this in my house for so long, it's been here for a week and not been able to film, has been soul destroying. I even thought, oh can I just open it and have a little sneak peek? I didn't, because I didn't want to ruin the bow. So let's just go for it and let's have a look inside. So, it comes like this, obviously, and my mum actually opened it. She said it came saying, this has waterproof protection on it, which is interesting. I'm always scared that the postman are gonna like, think, what, when they see a big Gucci parcel. Okay, the box. Dun, dun, dun. Look how pretty it is. Do you understand now why I didn't want to undo this bow? Because how on earth would I have re-bowed it like this? I don't think I'd have been able to. The Gucci packaging is my favourite. I just love the white and the black. I think it's so classic and I always keep all of my Gucci boxes. Just want to quickly see what's inside here. Oh, we've got three letters. So, it comes with all of these three Gucci envelopes. I mean, I don't know if it's just me, comment below. I get excited about little things like this. That's a Gucci envelope. Oh my goodness. So what's inside? This one says, thank you. We look forward to assisting you again at Gucci.com. Bit of a waste of paper, but you know, I guess it's all for authenticity purposes. This one, how extra opening my Gucci envelope. This one is just my kind of to return it and that kind of stuff. Yeah. You guys don't need to see that. This one, I think I know what this is. It's a letter to me, love me. To me, love from me. Because this is the kind of letter I send myself. If you guys watch my How I Save for Designer video, I will leave that linked below. You'll know that it's something that I save for very hard, very long. I do a lot of research and it's all about treating myself. So that's why I do that little note to remind myself. Okay, I've rambled enough about packaging and everything. Let's just open the bow. Can you guys see this? I hope you can. Din. Dun, dun, oh. We've got like a flippy box. None of my Gucci boxes have been flippy boxes before. And then inside the beautiful box. Oh, it's smaller than I imagined right now. So this bag is a bag that I've wanted for a long time and I've gone into Gucci God knows how many times to test it. And then one day I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna buy it. And I actually bought it online because I prefer to do all of my Gucci purchases online because I actually really enjoy the experience of shopping on their website and getting it to my door. And then also if you have to send something back, it's a lot less awkward than having to take it into a store. So this is a dust bag. Look how nice it is. Is this not the nicest wash bag ever? And it's nice and big as well. Okay, inside. What is it, guys? Dun, dun. Well, actually, if you've read the title of this video, you'll know exactly what it is, and that's probably why you're here, because like me, you're probably thinking of buying this. Do you know what? It seems a lot smaller than what I wanted. Oh no, please don't be too small. Let's see. Oh wow, they really package this well, don't they? Are oh, you ready? I can't even open it. There's a running joke in my family that I don't look after things. Okay. So this is not the most graceful unboxing ever because I actually can't get this off, but I'm gonna just show you the bag anyway. So, I'm actually a little bit disappointed. I actually really like the bag, but the reason I ordered it is because I thought it was a lot bigger than this. So, I already have this Gucci Marmont bag, which is actually bigger than this one. And the reason I ordered this one is because I thought it was gonna be even bigger because the size of this is a bit awkward and I don't use it enough. But I absolutely love this one, but it looked a lot bigger on the model. So this is the medium size, you know, the small one that everyone has. And then this is a medium one, which I actually preferred because I felt like would it be medium. To be fair, there is a lot of room inside. I just want something that can fit my camera in, so maybe I should be going for the large one. I think this is about 1,400. I'll link the exact one below. 
So in terms of style of the bag, it's stunning. I know that most people have this in the leather, but because they already have leather, I didn't go for leather. I went for suede, and because it's a darker suede, I don't think it will get as ruined. Although someone did comment on my recent video and say that you can get like a Scotch guard style thing that you spray on suede and then it doesn't get ruined. The, oh, I thought that was ruined. I was like, Gucci sending me a ruined double G, but no, that just rubs off. How nice is it? So it's like the chevrons and the colour. So I've not actually seen anyone with this colour. Most people I've seen kind of have the velvet one in the dark green, which is stunning. I've also seen it in a dark purple and then the colour I originally wanted was the nude kind of one and I loved it but then I felt that everyone had it which is fine and then I felt that the big one was a bit too large which is why I went for the medium one. I just think this colour is so flattering and it will go with everything. It's kind of like a bit more goes with everything than a nude because it's a bit darker and obviously better than black because all of my handbags are black and this year I promised myself not to buy more black handbags. I wanted to buy handbags that would actually go with different outfits because I feel like my black handbags kind of ruin my outfits sometimes because they're just a bit dark whereas I feel like this will really complement everything. So you've got this strap which Oh yeah, so this is as far as it pulls through. So the idea of this strap is that you can wear it completely over the shoulder. It's also got the love heart on the back, which is really, really cute. Impressed with the size of it though, whilst it looks quite small and petite here, it's kind of actually really big on the inside. So inside you've got this little flap here, which is really handy because it's the kind of flap that you could throw like your keys into or your phone and know that you can just grab it. And then you've got a zip compartment here, the zip compartment, oh, what's inside? You get your Gucci kind of guarantees. This zip compartment is really good because obviously it's a zip, so you could put more kind of like special things in there or things that you don't want to lose maybe like your iPhone or whatever but I do need zip compartments and I like that they have two compartments in this bag I do like the pink inside it gives it a nice little edge although I do ruin everything so having pink inside probably doesn't really match for me it would be better if it was black I just think it's a really cute put together bag I can see why this is possibly the best selling Gucci bag so obviously you can get this in leather which looks exactly the same but it's leather which is a great idea because obviously it's a bit more wearable and durable but then I just liked the suede because I don't have any suede bags and I think it just looks so classy and suede. My friend does have the green one, like the emerald green one, and it's stunning. I know that a lot of girls have the mini version and oh, all of them look really nice. I just can't fault this bag. If you want a designer bag that you can just kind of throw over your arms and just put on with every outfit, I feel like this is definitely the bag. So I already obviously have the Gucci belt, which I am a little bit obsessed with and talk about all the time. I just ordered it in brown as well. And I probably wouldn't wear the Gucci belt with the Gucci bag, but the reason I wanted to show you is because because I wanted to talk about just how much I get my use out of this and I feel like I am someone who buys designer stuff and really kind of wears it into the ground and uses it. I talk about cost per wear quite a lot. This belt was about 320 I think. I have definitely worn it at least 200 times so I don't know like less than two pounds per wear. And then these shoes as well from Gucci which I get asked about all the time. I often get asked if you can wear these a lot and you can. I wear them with jeans, I wear them with skirts, I wear them with dresses, I wear them to meetings, I wear them to dinners, they go with everything. And I think that's what I wanted to kind of carry across with this bag. I wanted a bag that would go with everything. So whilst a lot of people buy these incredible floral or neon bags, for me, I just won't get as much wear out of them. I deliberately didn't get the black because I obviously already had the black, but I just thought this colour was perfect. It's such a neutral colour. I don't know, there's something about it being a little bit darker that really appeals to me rather than it being the lighter nude. I'll put a picture of the lighter nude here. And I actually really like it in leather. I just felt that everyone kind of had that one, so I wanted it to be a little bit different. But I am definitely gonna look a bigger size of this as well, now I've seen this one. But this feels really durable, like this strap is good. A lot of designer bags, I feel like the straps are really thin. I like that this has a chain kind of strap. And it does remind me of more like Chanel vibes. And I also just feel like it looks a lot classier. Another reason why I like Gucci is because it's gold. I feel like gold suits me better than silver. And it's just a lot warmer, particularly for summer. And it does go a lot better with my outfit. And then even this strap is really not that thin, it's still really good quality and obviously it's attached with the metal so it's perfect. But it's nice that you can wear it in two different ways, you can cross it across the body, pop it on the shoulder or just hold it in front of you. You could just take this to dinner and then use it as a kind of clutch bag as well. I don't know, it's growing on me the size of it actually. I just need to check what I can actually fit inside it, I mean I can definitely fit my iPhone inside it. But I kind of have a YSL bag that's really small and then I've got my medium Gucci bag and then I have this one and I don't know why, I was just expecting 
expecting this to be bigger. What's the bottom like? So there's no leather on the bottom. I'm sure some people would have expected this to be leather, you know, so that when you're standing it on the floor or on a table or something, you're not going to spill stuff on it. Um, so I would definitely recommend the Scotch Guard. Big up to Sheila. I think it was Sheila who commented on my video and told me about Scotch Guard, so thank you. Um, but yeah, I feel like if it had the four little things at the bottom, you know, like the little gold things, that would give it a bit more protection because you need to protect your purchases. I do really like the pattern. It's just simplistic, isn't it? I know that some people might not like the big out there double G, but if I'm buying a designer bag, I do want people to know what brand it is. And obviously this is very Gucci and it's just timeless. I'm all about bags that are timeless and you can get lots of wear out of. So there we have it, guys. I hope you liked this quick little unboxing and yeah I actually really like the colour and everything so leave a comment let me know your thoughts let me know what you think and I will link the bag below and link the other versions if you guys want to see them or treat yourself as well let me know if you guys like Gucci and thank you for watching come say hi on Instagram at mshellax bye guys